Hello, I'm Andre Groß and I'm a field application engineer and software developer at Hilger Germany. This video is part of introduction videos for the Netix 90 chip. In this video, I will explain to you the CMSYS component. Starting here with an example, the Profinet V5 simple config example, the CMSYS component is located in a components directory, and here I start with the include directory. The include directory contains the header files provided by ARM for a Cortex-M4 microcontroller. We will not go into further detail of this include headers. Alongside the include directory, we have a WAF script, waste script. In this WAF script, here you're able to set the stack size, the heap size, you're able to generate a um, dummy with an endless loop or different other possibilities. In the device directory, here's the Hulcher directory, and there's the directory of the NetX microcontroller family. It contains an include and a source folder. In the source folder, the system source is located with several system functionalities, and here are startup codes and linker scripts located for several build chains. Here, the GCC build chain, which is used by NetX Studio, uh, contains a uh, startup file and a linker file for the normal NetX 90 and the engineering sample of the NetX 90. This engineering sample startup code might become obsolete in the future. The linker files located here are stops, and they are more as used as an example. The normal linker files used in our examples are located here in the target directory. The startup assembler file, it uh, defines the stack, the heap, it then defines the reset vector, and it contains the reset handler with the startup code for the microchip. You're able to modify this code as you need it. Here you see the call to the system init function. It's located in the system netic source file. And afterwards, the source code, the, the, the startup script branches into the start symbol, which is usually the main. Afterwards, we see here a default handler, which is uh, defined. And all the interrupts that are available are weakly defined with this default interrupt handler. The system NetX C file contains several uh, interesting features. They are features that are used system widely over all the future expected NetX microcontrollers. We start here with um, uh, the soft interrupt vector which is an interrupt vector where the normal interrupt vector will be copied to, then uh, the pointer will be switched from the hardware predefined interrupt vector to this soft interrupt vector located, for example, in the interim section. And there the enemy controller would then get out his pointers for branching into the interrupt routines. Afterwards, we have here several helper functions for calculating temperature out of an ADC value. Um, there are several um, gradient and intercepts defined to calculate the temperature curve from those um, ADC values into a temp real temperature value. Then here we have a page reader function. This page reader function it um, switches in an internal flash page reads out some values and then uh, blend it out again so that the normal flash execution can go uh, on. And um, this is um, also on, um, the, the, the base function of this calibration page is performed. And this is um, a stop where um, Flasher future uh, internal page Flasher implementation will be located. And here 
at the end we have the system init function, which in case the soft NVIC vector is activated, the uh, vector table will be copied into the RAM that's defined upside, and then um, the pointer of the microcontroller um, uh, VTOR register, um, well, it's uh, switched to the, to the soft vector area. Then the system core clock update routine will be called. Constructor call will be performed. This is also a stop, more or less, to call uh, the pre init and the init array um, for some C support. Um, however, uh, the C support is uh, only rudimentary at the moment. So, finishing with the source directory, we now take a look into the include directory. The include directory contains the header files, the main header files of the whole uh, microcontroller. Those header files are generated out of the SVD uh, files that define in an SVD format, an XML format um, that's defined by ARM. Um, what registers have which properties and with this property definition of the registers and everything, the, this uh, main header file is generated. To generate it, uh, you, you, can, you may use, we have used the SVD con, uh, converter exa that's provided with the CMSOS packages by ARM. Here we also have the system header file that is the corresponding header file to the system source file and provides system-wide NetX family definitions. In the RecDev directory, we find uh, the HTML and the base sources um, of the register definitions which are provided by our chip development. The reason why we deliver this uh, still with our CMSOS package is because of the HTML file that's really nice, neat, um, where you're able to, to take a look into the register definitions in a very comfortable way and uh, can read back on where which register area and everything is located and all the descriptions that are direct, directly um, given by our ch chip development department. However, this uh, header file here, DirectDev Anetics 90 ARM app header, is not uh, completely compatible with the Anetics 90 app header located here. So you have to either choose to use the CMSIS compliant approach or um, the uh, RecDev compliant approach. But we would recommend you just to use our driver environment which uses the CMSOS compliant header files. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for further tutorials and introductions.